Ah! Oh my god. This swim bait literally catches everything. Got him. Come here. What is up folks? Welcome back to another video. I am coming at you guys live from inside the brand new, well not new, but newly cleaned fishing man cave. By the way, in that video where we organized all of this stuff, I saw a comment that had a really good suggestion. It said to build a rod mount on one of the walls just to help with all of the rods that I have and kind of organizing everything. There was really only one problem with the suggestion. Yeah, so I already had one. <laughs> I just forgot about it because it was just covered with so much junk. But I appreciate that suggestion because you're right, this looks way better. It kind of helps with the organization. And now see, I've got all my rods just kind of lined up right here. Well, not all my rods, but like a lot of the ones I use day to day, you know, and some of them are just random ones that are just sitting there right now. Geez, there's even some that weren't even like cleared to leave the store. I swear I did not steal that. But you also shouldn't investigate it at all. Another comment I saw a lot of was how much stuff that I have and I should do giveaway and all that stuff, which I totally agree. Like, look at this pile of rods right here. Like a lot of this stuff are just random things that I bought for a video and maybe use them like once or twice. And then, you know, they're just kind of sitting there now. Guys, all I can tell you is the best way to make sure that you're not missing these giveaways, because I do them all the time, is to make sure you're subscribed to the channel with the bell notification enabled, because like 60% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed. And then just watch my videos and you'll be good to go. The Green Goblin is obviously not here right now. Guys, the Green Goblin giveaway is still going on. We are going to give that boat away on August the 1st. Every $1 spent at GuggenSquad.com using my code LOJO equals one entry. Folks, somebody is going to win that boat. And I hope it's you. By the way, speaking of GuggenSquad.com, we literally just had a mega drop on April the 4th with a bunch of new products, a bunch of new t-shirts like the one that I'm wearing right here, and some new baits like the Pinner Worm, the Dub Grub, and the Blazing Worm XL, which me personally, I am very excited about that. And of course, there's a million other things at GuggenSquad.com like Guggen Baits, tons of other apparel. Ow! Rods, literally everything. You guys get the point. So there's tons of way to get in on this giveaway. I hope you guys do. The Green Goblin's actually in the shop right now. No, 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 don't worry, nothing's wrong with it. Actually, we're making some exciting upgrades to the Green Goblin. I've kind of teased it some. I don't want to give it away, but it's going to look completely different and it's going to function a lot differently too. All in all, I think it's going to be like six, seven, eight thousand dollars worth of upgrades. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty legit. You're going to really want to win this boat, even if you didn't already want to win this boat. So anyways, there'll be a link in the description for all that boat giveaway stuff. Stuff. Let's ride down to the pond. Oh! Well, on to today's video. You guys will remember I just put out a video a couple days ago where we went Timu camping. We found this really cool lake that I'd never been to before. It had campsites. We rented a campsite. We had a bunch of Timu gear. We had a blast. Oh, there she is. The old backyard pond. Just looking pristine right now. After we completed our overnight camping challenge with that Timu gear, me and Andrew set out on that lake with some kayaks and literally spent all day fishing it. This was a brand new lake, so we had really had no experience on it whatsoever, but we had no idea what the bite was going to be like or nothing. Well, the campsite was dope, but it is time to spend some actual time on this water right here and fishing it hard. Oh, wow, that's, that doesn't work at all. Okay. <sighs> launch, 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 <laughs> launching speed. There we go. Oh yeah. All right. Drop the old skeg and drop the old pedal drive so we can get moving here. There we go. This is the way to travel right here. If you're in a kayak, this is the way to kayak appropriately. Wow, there's uh, multiple boats out here. I see like one, two, three boats already. It just always tickles me how these little kind of unknown lakes just have these guys who always fish them because they're probably really good and nobody knows about them. That right there is the island. Now we explored that island a lot more yesterday in the Timu camping video, but that island was just surrounded all around the edge by buck, bass, a couple females cruising around. We saw a lot of bass activity. So I know I want to head 
kind of towards this bridge and island area. In fact, that's where one of the boats is fishing right now. But there's a lot of good lily pads in this lake that I think could yield some results for us. Water clarity, not looking great. But we kind of knew that yesterday when we got here, we're just gonna have to deal with it. I wanna throw this frog a little bit. There's some lily pads right out here. I'm not quite to them yet, I'm right outside of them. This is one of the many like footbridges they have out here. It's just got a lot of lily pads on the outside of it. As you can see, there's just gotta be something on these deeper edge pads. Okay, well, I have no idea how deep it is. Oh, topwater blow up. Oh, here we go. Lojo's kayak fishing, you know what that means. It's time to break everything, mess up everything, and maybe catch a giant fish by accident. I think I want to push back way deep in these lily pads. Because all this right here, I have not been able to explore or fish, like from the bank. And I suspect there's probably some good bass here. Oh yeah, here we go. Now we're getting in it. Okay, got some like four foot depth. That's exactly what I want. Oh my God, he missed it. <laughs> my heart just dropped. Cause that seemed and appeared to be a really big fish. Let's see if I can get kind of close to where I was. I should be kind of close. Oh wow, first bite of the morning. Exciting bite. All right, well I'd say the frog is definitely in play. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull my little motor up. About to be getting in some thick grass. I think I can just kind of like float over the top of it. Had a monster blow up a second ago. Did you really? Missed it. And see the good part about these lily pads, there's not too much of them. They're kind of like isolated throughout the lake in different areas. So I think if we just like stick to the lily pads maybe, I mean, it's still super early, but I think we'll be successful if we just hit every single lily pad field that we find with top water and then like a light Texas rig to punch any holes and any gaps. All right, well, the first little area, not, not really a bust or anything, but I think we know what we need to do. We just need to seek out more shallow water, more vegetation, surface vegetation like lily pads. And I wanna get closer to these creeks, this bridge over here where I see a little bit of wind on the water. Dude, I have to say the pedal kayak life is definitely the life for me, man. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, is that right? Is, right. It, is it better? You can't do none of that though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to ram you. I don't know what happened. I lost control. Out here at this park, there's this long little walking bridge that leads to an island that's out by itself in the middle of this lake. And around that island is a lily pad line that yesterday was just covered in bass. So I kind of want to approach this corner right here where the bridge meets the island. I just kind of want to work my way around it. And there's a creek that runs off that way, back that way that we can hit as well. Wow. Dang, he is flying low. Dang. It's 
kind of a crazy looking helicopter. I'm not sure if I've ever seen one of those before. Oh, I'm gonna have to lay my rods down to get underneath this bridge, huh? Oh boy. All right, going under the bridge. Prepare. All right, well, I'm going for it. Am I gonna have to duck or am I just gonna be able to lean back or what? I don't know if I'm going to get decapitated. I'm having a hard time judging it. Okay, yeah, I'm going down. Ah! Kapow! Got him! Come here. First fish of the day. He's not huge. Get him in the boat. Oh, he's peeing. You know what that means. When they're peeing like that, that means the spawn is close. Look at my guy's nog in there. He's got like a little road rash on the very top of his head. Huh. That's kind of interesting. Nice tea down there. Yeah, a little buck bass. Demolished a frog. I was just saying to you, I was like, dude, we're due for a bite. Because I think like a bite window type situation's happening. Heck yeah, healthy. Healthy little male. Chunky. Chunky monkey. Oh yeah, boy. It feels so good to get the skunk out of the boat. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. It feels so good. And I was a little bummed out because I missed that first topwater blow up and I kind of felt like that was a bigger fish. Mainly because I didn't catch it. Gotta lock in. Oh, I need my black. I need some black buffalo. Yes. Lock in. Lock in with some lip candy. Just ringing the dinner bell out there, Andrew. Sounds good too. Letting all those big fish that are out there cruising in those pads know that there's a freaking injured bait fish out here and the first person to find him is gonna get to eat him. It's a pretty sweet deal. You know, honestly, this is what I used to love about kayak fishing though. Like you see how slow we're fishing. That's one thing about kayak fishing that's cool is that you can just sit down basically in a lily pad field that's like a hundred yards long. You can sit down in it, in it and just kind of like drift through it. You can make every cast. You can touch everything you want to touch and you pick it apart because you're just sitting there for a long time. Let's do a rod switcheroo. I think it's blazing worm time. I think the blazing worm has caught me more fish this spring so far than any other single bait. Pretty sure. Gotta be honest, I kind of think we should push down the creek. I found this little part of the, the creek right here that I think is probably not accessible by most boats. Probably too shallow. Like a little pass-through area right here. I think in our kayaks, we can get in there. I really want to go check that out. Oh yeah, dude, look at all this grass just jutting out. Yeah, see, I want to, I want to like approach it from up here. Oh, there's bait jumping right there too. Dude, I might throw that swim bait a little bit too out here. Dude, I might. Oh, darn it! Stop. Dude, there's fish popping everywhere. Where's that? Give me that swim bait, dude. I want it. I want it in my hands, Rude. We've got kind of an open area out here. Let's throw the old dangerous swim bait around. We've had success with it recently. I keep seeing just bait busting all. Oh, look right in front of us. Okay, well, I think we need to make a little bit of a spot move here. Bite's been a little slow. It started off so promising with the frog and a couple topwater strikes, like right out of the gate. And now it's just slowed down. 
I feel like we're still in a good bite window. The weather's awesome. Although there's a lot less boats out here today than there was yesterday. That's true. That's a little suspicious. I was looking at the map though, and there's this tiny creek. Once you go, once you push all the way back into this big main lake creek, it turns into and funnels down into this tiny little creek that I think we can get into. So maybe access some unfishable water for most people. Swim bait. Fish. Oh, come on. No, I think it's a freaking pickerel. Are you joking me? This swim bait literally catches everything, including the stinky things you don't want to catch. Dang it. I was so excited when I got that bite, too. So I just knew it was a big fish. Yeah, these things are no fun. They're a little toothy. They're a little too toothy for my taste. Ow! And they try to throw hooks in people's hands. Yeah, good luck to you, buddy. Good luck to you. Those dang chain pickerels just follow me around everywhere I go, don't they? They do. There's just something about me going bass fishing in chain pickerels. That was on the dangerous swim bait. That stinky, stinky fish. Luckily, he didn't tear it up real bad. The hook's fine. The line seems fine. Dude, I felt that tick. I was like, yes. I bet. Big bass. Pickerel. Pickerel. All right, well, at least that was maybe enough to re-energize me a little bit. So according to the map right here, if we push way back in this creek, there's actually like that smaller creek that I was talking about earlier. And I really want to get back there. Bet you there's some spawners back there. I think that's right ahead here. I'm just gonna politely slide around these gentlemen. Yep, I definitely see the creek. Yeah, we're about to get a little skinny. I don't know how far we're even gonna be able to get, but I'd like to find out. I'd like to throw a swim bait in it before we do. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the motor up. So I just think that's gonna be necessary. I feel like I see a bed right here at the mouth of this creek and I want to fish it. wind is a little frustrating because it doesn't seem like it's really doing anything and then oh Adam maybe could have got crushed right there got him Tiny little guy. Little buck bass do his job. Little buck bass on the blazing worm. Size comparison. Not good. <laughs> kind of like an aquarium fish, you know? It's like a starter size. We've gone really far in between bites. The bite windows have been wacky today. I still see a bed like 30, 30 feet right in front of me. That's kind of off of it. Not really. I suck and I hate this reel. There could definitely be fish uh, along the edges of this creek. It gets pretty shallow, but you know, I don't know. It's, it's intriguing. It's definitely intriguing. Let's just paddle a little bit. I think we just need to paddle, scout it out and just kind of see what we see. 
some bram. But so far, no bass activity really. It's a lot of bait back here though, that's for sure. Well, let's just sit down and fish a little bit. How about that? Okay, so I think we need to reverse course. And look at the map real quick. Yep, we need to go back out. You know, this year at the pond, the spawn has been so strange. I don't know if it's because of the water clarity of the pond or what. So, I mean, obviously the water clarity is not great right now. We put fertilizer in it a few months ago just to kind of change up the water clarity and make it not so gin clear. So, I don't know whether it's because of this water clarity or it's just been a weird, rainy, colder spring, but I have seen like zero spawning activity in the pond. That might be though because I can't see it. Just haven't seen a lot of fry, I haven't seen males up shallow guarding beds, haven't even like seen a bed in the pond. It's really strange. But yeah, that lake we were fishing turned out to be really cool. Now look, we didn't catch any mondos, obviously, but we're still catching swim bait fish of all species, which is just nutty to me. Love that freaking swim bait. All in all though, it's always fun to explore a new area. You guys know that. That's what I love to do on this channel is go somewhere new and just throw yourself into it. You know, just whatever happens, happens. Got some pond updates coming soon, folks. I'm even planning something pretty big, like a huge announcement. I'm not sure if I'm gonna pull the trigger on it yet. I'm still debating. It's gonna be extremely expensive if I do do it. I'm not gonna lie though, I kinda want to. Plenty more fishing content coming. Maybe some more camping content. Another build or two this year. There's some things we wanna do on the channel this year though. So for all of you folks that are subscribed and you're gonna hang out, I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you so much. When you see me out there in the world, you better say hi to me. You need to come talk to me. I love seeing you folks out there in the world. You're the best subscribers on YouTube. I've been saying that for literally eight years. So it's gotta be true. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. I love you. Make sure you get in on that Green Goblin giveaway. I'll see you guys later.